Hello friends. Giving booze for the holidays is a tried and true gift, but giving it in a boring package is not acceptable. That's why today we're gonna throw another log on the fire and show you how you can create some unique packaging so that you can give that gift of booze without feeling like you're cutting corners. Who hasn't given a gift of booze here and there over the years? Well, it's totally fine, and most people would be perfectly happy with that gift. But the packaging options that are out there are a little bit lame. So that's why today I'm gonna to show you how to create some unique packaging that is both a conversation starter and will make it a very unique gift that somebody else can also reuse down the road. So let's just dive right into it. We're gonna get started by working on something for a larger bottle, maybe a bottle of liquor, or perhaps maybe a bottle of champagne. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure the bottom of this bottle of champagne, figure out our diameter. Then I'm gonna use a hole saw that's a little bit bigger than that diameter, and I'm gonna drill out a piece of plywood to be the bottom of the holder. Next, I'm laying out the measurements for how big I wanna make this design. I'm gonna make everything look like a Christmas tree. So I'm using the hole saw as a guide to create some radiuses that are gonna kind of look like a tree. And then I use my jigsaw to cut out the rough shape. Once I have something that I'm happy with, it's just a matter of repeating this a whole bunch of times. For this, because of how big the bottle is, I'm gonna make 10 equal pieces. So I'm ripping a bunch of strips, then I can just trace the same pattern out over and over again and then continually cut it out with the jigsaw until I have enough pieces. From there, I'm laying out the pieces and then mark a little spot where I'm gonna cut a notch in each piece, which is gonna rest up against the bottom piece, and then I'm gonna glue it all together. I'm just gonna array these pieces all around the bottom circle, trying to keep as close to a consistent look as I can. You could measure this out and figure out the exact measurements, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it to make sure that there's even space in between each piece. From there, I'm adding a dark green base coat and then topping it with a little bit of a shimmery green glitter paint. And no tree would be complete without having a little bit of Christmas lights on it. So I wrap it around with some LEDs and this project is finished. Now you don't have to just use a big bottle of booze for this. You can also do the same thing for beer. So let's take a crack at it. For this one, I'm gonna use a couple of pre-cut round pieces of plywood that I picked up at my local big box store, a dowel, and some green bottled beer. Now you could use any other kind of beer, but the green helps sell it. I'm not really a big fan of green bottled beers myself, but it works for this application, so that's what I'm going for. So these are 12 inch rounds. They're actually 11 and 3 quarters inches wide, but what I'm gonna do is find the center point at first, then I'm gonna lay it out and create a bunch of equal size slices, which will end up making this thing able to hold a full 12 pack. So the lower shelf is gonna hold eight beers and then the upper shelf is gonna hold an additional four beers. The way to do this is to take the total degree measurement of the circle, which is 360, and then divide it by eight, and that'll give you the 45 degree pieces that'll be each slice. And then from there, I'm measuring the diameter of the bottle so that I can figure out where I need to drill the holes and what size bit I need to use. I ended up using a two and a half inch hole saw and then I could start drilling holes at each center point of each slice. Now I know in these early videos I've used a hole saw set a lot and I've used Forstner bits a lot. So if you don't have those things, those are two sets of tools that I highly recommend that you get. You're gonna use them a lot. Once I drilled all eight holes, I ended up with this film reel looking thing and then I could drill out the center hole as well, which I'm gonna feed a three quarter inch dowel through. From there I stacked that piece on top of another one of the rounds and then traced out all the holes and I numbered each hole so I knew that everything was lined up just in case anything was a little bit off. I also used that piece as a guide so I could drill another 3 quarter inch hole in the bottom piece so I could countersink the dowel into it. Next I grabbed my palm router and a bit that I used to cut hinge mortises and I used it to create little indentations where the bottles can sit that'll help secure them so that they don't move around that much. 
And then from there, I started to assemble everything and figure out exactly how big this thing needed to be in order to hold all the beers that I needed. So I laid it out, started stacking things together, figured out where I needed to cut the dowel, and then started gluing everything together. With the bottom knocked out, then I could move on to the second row. That's only gonna hold four beers, but it's a little bit tricky because I need to make sure that you could still get the bottom row out and the top row out at the same time. So what I decided to do was cut a six inch round to go on the top, which would hold those beers in place. And I did that with a six inch hole saw on my drill press. Now, this is a little sketchy. You could do it by hand, but the thing jumps around a lot. There's a lot of torque with the six inch hole saw. So if you're doing this part, just be a little bit careful. So I drilled some holes for the next of the bottles to pass through. And then I decided to notch out a little bit of material so that you could slide the beers in and out easier. And once I had it where I needed it to be, then I could glue it in place and that part was complete. Now to make it look more like a tree, I decided to add a little corbel to the bottom of it that I picked up at the hardware store, because why the hell not? I've gone this far. And to be honest, I wasn't sure how balanced it would be, but it's actually pretty strong. You'd really have to knock into it in order to knock it over. As long as you don't take all the beers out of one side at one time, it's not gonna tip over. And of course, every tree needs its star, so I decided to add a removable bottle opener to the top of the tree to give it the final touch. So that's it for this project. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned something and hopefully it gives you a little confidence to tackle creating a unique package for your bottle of booze this holiday season. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the new content I put out and make sure you're following along at carhart.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers. Are you drinking right now? It's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm filming a video.